All right. How's it going, everyone? I am going to show you how to create a parallax video in Adobe After Effects today. I am going to start out by importing the files into the project folder. And I already pre-cut these in Photoshop, but I split the layers into onto their own individual layers. I separated the foreground, the middle ground, and then the background. And when you import the files into After Effects, you want to make sure that you click on Composition, Retain Layer Sizes, so that everything can stay on a proper composition. All right, and then when you go into the composition, as you can see right here, I have the foreground, middle ground, background. The foreground is this mountain range and then the middle ground is this whole middle part. So you can see that it splits right there. And then the background is just the sky. All right, and then so what you wanna do is you add a camera. And I like to keep a two node camera because then you can have a depth of field to your to your camera. Alright. Let's see. Alright, right, you go into options and depth of field, you want to turn that on. And none of this works unless you can unless you put all of the assets into a 3D shape which means that you can pull it in Z space. So there's the X, which is horizontal, Y, which is vertical, and then Z is front to back. So what you wanna do is you wanna take the foreground, and I hit P for position, and I wanna bring this forward. Have that forward. And then the middle ground, hit P, bring that forward just a little bit. All right, and then the background is separated. So that's what I could do is I could bring that backwards. And you can see that it gets trimmed up on the side right there, so you can press S for scale, scale that up a bit. And then as you can see, so I'll change the camera view so you can tell. This is how you can tell that you're in 3D space. So I hit C for camera and this will rotate it for me. And you can see that this is the foreground, the middle ground, and then the background. Now what you wanna do is you wanna see, you wanna take the camera and you wanna move it in 3D space, so you move it on the Z axis. So I'll go back to my regular view. Okay. And then I will change the position from the beginning. And then I'll go in about four seconds. And I'll push that in a bit. Okay. And normally what you'd want to do is I set this up on the side so that I can see where my focal point is. So here's the foreground, middle ground, and the background. Now the focus distance, you want that to be on the foreground so that you can see, you can focus in on the foreground. Now there's not a lot of different movement here because everything is, is very small. So what you can do is change the aperture. So that makes it look very blurry when you increase the aperture. And 
so that was there. Back to the beginning. And you want to bring that back to the foreground. Just so that you're staring at the foreground the whole time. So now you can see that the middle ground is kind of blurry and so is the background and your foreground is is in focus. Now there's not a lot of parallax going on right here. You can't really tell too much so I can show you. I'll have it move from right to left. See, now you can tell that there's the mountains are moving behind this large mountain right here. Okay. There you go. And there's the parallax effect. Thanks.